Missed snap, and Martin wants to keep it, wants to try to get to this end. He needs a block. He turns the end, gets out of the bounds at about the 45-yard line, a gain of about a yard. Run out of bounds by Daniel Hathaway, number 32, and Landry Bettingfield. And I think that's one of the first times that I remember seeing Bettingfield in on defense. A gain of a yard on the play, and it'll bring up third down. Ten minutes and 42 seconds left to go here in the first half. Stratford out in front, 14 to nothing. Spread formation all over the field. McGregor and Craig out to the side. Quick pitch inside to Craig. He's at midfield. He needs a couple of yards. He gets hit, and I think he's going to be just short of a first down. They're right here in front of us. Yeah, Landry Bedingfield was the one who was able to wrap him up. He kept trying to get away, though, but Bedingfield was able to hold on long enough for additional help to get over here and bring him on down. It's going to be fourth and a long one. The way the stick is, now they move it in. Fourth and a long one, a pickup of six on that play. And fourth down as Chris Martin brings him up to the line of scrimmage. Takes the snap, a quick snap, and as he snuck for it, ooh, this one's uh, going to be even closer. I don't think he made it, but let's wait for the call. Well, they're right here in front of our position, and the referee says he wants the clock stopped so he can take a look at it. I think you're right, Freddie. I think he might have come up inches short on this one. Well, you're going to have a perfect look at it just like we are. As they are standing there hovering over the ball, as they say. We're kind of at an angle, so it's sometimes different to tell looking through the binoculars. But all we can do is guess. It looked a little short, but no look of there. By First half. down by half the length of the football. Ooh, we. <laughs> Two gutty, two gutty calls on consecutive third down or fourth down plays have netted them first downs each time. And move the ball into Stratford territory with a fresh set of downs. Craig and McGregor to this side, out to the far side. I believe that is Robbie Sims still out there. On first and ten, Martin takes it. Snap. Ooh, mixed up in the backfield. But Morris Cannon comes flying out of there inside the 40 and he may have enough for a first down that's the same play that brad clay ran on a while ago that that he was tripped up right at the last moment by sam shilka that time it was open through the middle a good run that time first and 10 on 11 yard pickup and the ball is inside the 40 yard line well you were right fred they came back with that one and it looked good the second time through Chris Martin, the quarterback. Morris Cannon, Brad Clay, the running back. Here's the snap. Pitch, Clay, whoops, on the ground. He picks it up. He's going to get hit. Oh, he managed to get a yard back. Looked like he was going to lose about three or four yards. As it is, he only lost two. A good recovery on his part, getting back to that close to the line of scrimmage. They mark it down at the 39, call it a loss of two. Second down and 12. Fuller and Bryant come in to the running backs, Cannon and Clay come out. Craig comes right, Burdett, check it, Sims, and McGregor go up to the top of your screen, far out to the left. Martin takes a snap, goes back, he looks, he needs some protection, he can't find anybody, he's got a duck one, he's got a duck two, he cuts back in, he's got some yardage, he gets hit, he gets away, and he is hit and dropped for about a two-yard loss. We got a flag all the way back here at the 48-yard line, however, and you already know what that one is. A loss back to the 42 of three yards, but it's probably holding, I'm up. sure. Yeah, probably it's either holding or a clip. Referee comes back to where he threw the flag. He says it was right there. Clipping is the call. You were right. Tell you what, Dan, anytime you start running around that much back there and start cutting back into across the field, it's very easy for the blockers out in front of you to get caught up in the flow of things. And before you know it, you wind up tackling somebody from the line side there. And refs, gotta... refs are quick to call that because that's, that's one of the things that causes the most injuries in high school football because that clip normally comes totally without 
the person that's being clipped knowing anything about it, and it sometimes blindsides them and winds up getting them really hurt bad. First time he knows about it, he is hurt. Second down, Whew, we'll figure this one up, somewhere around 30 yards. Martin, inside pitch to Morris Cannon, incomplete, tried the shovel pass and could not uh, get it. Let's see. It's going to be third down. They mark it at the 43, so you're talking about, oh, goodness. Uh, 22 plus 7, 8, about 30 yards. Third down and a fourth of the cow pasture. Sims goes out to the left, going by McGregor. Now McGregor way back off the line on third down. Looks like a slightly staggered T formation. Here's the pitch, and here comes McGregor at the 40, to 45, to 50, the 45, the 40, still going at the 35, the 30. He's close to the first down. I don't believe it. Great run that time. Finally brought down by Landry Biddingfield, who was back playing a safety position. And they mark it at the 28-yard line, a 29-yard pickup, and I think you're going to have a fourth and about one. Let's see where they finally stabbed that thing in. A long one, call it two. So it will be fourth down, but it's a, a lot closer than it was. And that time they came back with the little shuffle pass immediately after it did not work. It worked good that worked time, good. and McGregor yeah. got a head of steam up on it. On, on fourth down and about two, Here's Martin. He throws one out there. It is incomplete. A battle at about the 15-yard line intended for Sims. Just a little bit over his head. And it will go over to the win to the Stratford Eagles. Well, Windsor made some exciting football plays in this uh, on that drive. Yes, they did. That was a good series for them, even though they didn't get a score out of it. They moved the ball down where they did have it deep in their territory, moved it all the way down to where now the ball is resting on about the 28-yard line as Stratford starts their third possession. Seven minutes and 24 seconds left to go. First half, 14 to nothing in favor of the Stratford Eagles. Joey Cranford brings them up, fakes to the first man, gives to the second man, and it is somebody getting buried at about the 30-yard line. Pickup of about two on the play. And off the bottom of the pile comes Chet Smaha. Tell you what, the defense made a fine surge that time. He was able to pick up a couple of yards, but the Knights defense was standing there ready. They wanted to get this ball back and perhaps get a score on the board before halftime. They're only down 14 to nothing. Now this would be the time to stand tall in the trenches, as they say. Second down and call it eight. From the 30, here's the snap. Cranford keeps it, rolls to his right, looks for a place he's got a place. Inside the 30 to 35, over the 40-yard line. Finally run down by number 41, Bubba Gallagher. At the 42-yard line, a pickup of 12 and a first down for Joey Cranford. He put some mileage on the boards, too. First and 10 for Stratford as Bettingfield brings the play in and comes down towards you here at the bottom of the screen. Picking him up on a play, Seth Fuller comes over. There's the snap, Cranford, hand off to the tailback, Smaha at the 45 to 50, inside the 50 to 45 and close to the Windsor 40 yard line before he's finally driven down. Ched Smaha picking up some good yardage there 16, 17 yards on the play. And another Windsor, another Stratford first down. Brian coming into the ball game. We mentioned earlier that Chad Smaha came into the game tonight with 484 rushing yards on the season, averaging right at eight yards per carry, Dan. So he's he's very productive when he gets his hands on the ball. He's doing better than that tonight, too. First and 10, Stratford snap, handoff straight ahead. Out of the fullback position, was that Shilcut who's in there? Nope, check it, it is Randy Mitchell, number 53. All the way down to the 36 yard line. Pick up of about five and call it second and five. Kevin Mann brings the play in and will split off to the left. 
Five minutes, 13 seconds left to go. First half, 14 to nothing in favor of the Eagles. Cranford takes the snap. Hands off to Smaha again at the 35. Who he got ripped at about the 33-yard line. Might have got forward for another yard. Bryant and Cannon combining to bring him down. It's going to be close to a first down. No. Give him four on the play. It'll be third and one. Third down and about a yard to go for the Eagles at the night. 31-yard line. And what's happening right now, Dan, is that Joey Cranford is dropping back enough to bring that defensive line in and then handing the ball off on the little draw and it's getting, getting some good yardage. Here's the snap. Smaha hits the right side, got the first down as he's inside the 30 to about the 28-yard line. Give him a pickup of three, four yards on the play. And we'll make it another first down for Stratford and a fresh first and 10. Rather smallish crowd on hand, but with the weather, you can't really blame anybody. It was downright nasty out this afternoon. Out wide left here is Ben Terry. Tight ends play inside. There's a snap. Cranford pitches it, and it's Maha trying to get around the end. Hits one, hit by his second man. Might have got dumped for a yard or two loss as Seth Fuller came up and hit him first. And then I believe that was Jeff Norman who put him down a loss of, give him a loss of about a yard on the play, and it'll bring up second down and 11. Collier and Montgomery to tight ends on the formation. Waters and Leonard are the tackles. Snap. Woo, it's on the fumble. ground. And I believe we see the indication it's a blue shirt. The Windsor Knights have recovered the fumble on the snap. It is Coming up Morris with the Cannon. ball is Morris Cannon. Yes, sir. Windsor's man about. I tell you what, he makes a lot of big plays. And that one stops a good Stratford drive. First and 10 for the Knights at their own 29-yard line. Three minutes and 15 seconds left to go here in the first half. Eagles out in front, 14 to nothing on two first quarter touchdowns. Ben Lee out to the top of your screen at the left. Chris Martin lines him up with a wingman now. Here's the snap. Martin goes back. He looks, he looks, he fires one out there. It is in, intercepted by Cranford at the 42, the 40, the 30, the 20 down the far sidelines. Nobody's going to catch him. Whoops, we got a flag. Hold everything. There is a flag on the play, but I believe that's probably going to be on Windsor, but let's let's check it out and see. They're all coming back now. Perhaps not. 42 yards on the return, and no. It is against Stratford. Okay. Morris Cannon is going to talk to referee Smith. Flag is at about the 23-yard line. Let's see if we don't get a holding call. That's normally what we see at this point. Okay, here is the call coming right at you. Uh, personal foul. It is another, clipping. Another clip. Seen right. two or three of those tonight, haven't we? Yes, we have. And this one goes for 15 yards. And what's even more negates a touchdown. Yep. Pulls six off the board. And it'll be first and 10 at the 42-yard line. So about the place where Cranford intercepted it is the place where we're going to start from here. Two minutes and 46 seconds left to go in the first half. We will probably have an abbreviated halftime for you since uh, I don't see any of the band members out here. <laughs> Not that I blame them. Cranford takes it, stab, handoff, spa off the left side, 35. It's Wilkins, rather, at the 30, the 25, the 20, and inside the 20, where it is finally Thomas Craig who guns him down at about the 17-yard line. Yeah, that was William Wilkins on the carry, and he's on the fake handoff to the first man through. Wilkins was given the ball as he came through and just sprinted off to this left side for a big game. 25 yards on the play, as a matter of fact, and a first and 10 for the Eagles. 
Well, they did that on that crackback, faking into the line and then having the, uh, actually it's an old fashioned veer play. Misdirection to one side and then veer back to the other. Cranford rolling to his right, looking for a running lane, finds it, Woo does not oh, want the ball in the air. Out. And it's recovered on the far sideline, on the far side of the field. It must have been Cranford that hauled it back in. Joey Cranford makes it very exciting when he carries the ball. Six yards on the play, second down and four. A minute and 57 seconds, and the clock is running. It's been a very quick first half. We have not seen too many passes. Cranford takes a snap, handoff, Wilkins off the right side, cuts in, cuts out, and goes into the end zone for six points. From 12 yards out, William Wilkins puts the third touchdown for the Eagles on the board as it takes them four plays to put it in the end zone after the interception. Comes with a minute and 38 left to go here in the first half. And Ben Terry lines up to kick into the wind for a change. Oh, yes. Let's see if it makes any difference. Woo! He got it up there high enough. It didn't make any difference after all. As they come back up the field, it's the Stratford Eagles 21. The Windsor Knights nothing. Back with you after these messages. You can have custom-designed ornamental gates or fences for much less than you would expect to pay. And back with you from Knight Field at Windsor Academy, Dan Jaskula, Fred Hester, my lovely wife, Margaret. Are you cold now? Not yet. Huh? Okay. Ken Sauer on camera. And Virginia holding things down back in the studio for us. As I said, we'll probably have a, a somewhat abbreviated halftime. Give you some statistics. Take a deep breath and get ready for the second half. How's that? Ben Terry will tee it up from the far hash mark. I wonder if he knows something about this wind. It's not uh, not really gusty. It's just kind of steady. Steady cold. Terry lines it up. And here's the kick. Ooh, a low one sailing. Coming down to Seth Fuller at the 15 to 20 to 25. Check it. It's McGregor. Woo, did he get nailed at about the 32-yard line. Robbie McGregor, number 10, not number 12. Got it out to about the 32-yard line, a 22-yard return. And it'll be first and 10. Windsor with a minute and 29 seconds to work with here in the first half. Craig and McGregor out wide to the right. And that looks like Ben Lee up at the top. Number five, it is. Chris Martin sends them on their way. A shovel pass to Cannon, and the ball's on the ground. He looked like he took two steps with it, and it is a fumble. A gain of three yards on the play, but a turnover. It was a reception. That's what the referee's ruling is. And Robbie Camp came up with it at about the 34-yard line. So the Eagles, somebody got a hand in there and stripped it loose from Morris Cannon. Betting field out wide to the right, everybody else in tight. Here's the snap. Cranford looks, looks, looks. He wants to fire one deep going towards the end zone. It is intercepted by Chris Martin at the five, up to the ten. Needs a block. Not going to get in a beautiful open field tackle on the far sideline by Ched Smaha. Saved it from coming back any further, but Windsor gets it right back after the fumble on the interception, overthrown by a hair. Well, they keep saying there's only three things that can happen yep. with a uh, with a pass, and two of them aren't any good. We got timeout on the play. We'll take one right with them, with about 39 seconds left to go in the first half, and the score: the Stratford Eagles 21, the Windsor Knights nothing. We'll be right back. Ball and a region contest. Here's the snap. 